take on that letter, let's bring in Borzu Daragi, who is an international correspondent for The Independent. Uh, Borzu, great to have you on the, the news hour here. Now, uh, the letter contains obvious uh, Trumpisms like uh, talk of deals and a reference to, to tough guys. But uh, as a whole, what do you make of it? Well, I actually think that the uh, government of Turkey and uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan himself, they know Trump enough and uh, have you been used to his kind of more, uh, uh, let's say, eccentric mannerisms that they kind of look past the, you know, don't be a tough guy, the, the kind of good fellas style talk. But I think what really uh, was the, uh, uh, the issue in this letter, according to uh, people I've spoken to in the uh, diplomatic community in Turkey and analysts are in touch with the Turkish government, is the suggestion that Erdogan and the head of a militia uh, that the uh, uh, Turkish government considers a terrorist organization meet and broker a deal. The head of a state that is a G20 member and a, uh, a group that Turkey considers an outlaw uh, organization uh, that is a, a, a dire threat to its stability and security would meet just like that. Yeah. And I, 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 from my understanding, that was really the, the point. The, the other juvenile stuff, um, you know, Turkey is uh, kind of wise enough to look past that at this point, three years into the Trump presidency. I think, um, I think you're talking about, stuff, uh, I think you're talking about our Gen General Mazlum is ready to negotiate, sit down with him, have a talk with him. That's the part. So yeah. how, how much of, a, uh, of an impact is that going to have in today's meeting just, when, when uh, President, I, I, go ahead. I think it's a, it's a total breach of diplomatic um, politesse. Uh, and, you know, normally under normal circumstances, under Obama, for example, such a letter would have been vetted for diplomatic protocol by the State Department uh, and others who are regional experts before just sending it out. Um, but I also think that the letter betrays a complete misunderstanding of the depth and severity of Turkey's um, attitude towards this uh, organization at its southern border um, and that this has been going on. There's like little understanding that this has been going on for three years, that the Turk that Turkey has been complaining to everyone uh, uh, about the, the, the nature of the Rojava experiment for three years now, four years constantly. Um, ever since 2015, uh, they've been, you know, sort of issuing alarm bells. Uh, warning, giving threats, uh, uh, and everyone has been saying they've been bluffing and so on. Um, and this letter is like, you know, why don't you just sit down with this guy and work out a deal? I'm sure you're going to have a great deal. Um, it showed such a lack of understanding of the, the dynamics that uh, I'm sure Erdogan was like, this is ridiculous. We're back at, 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 at sort of square one with these people. Let's just go in and invade. And that's kind of interesting in that. And, and if, in fact, um, it's true, and we should caution that it has not been this story of, of Erdogan uh, angrily uh, crumpling up the letter and throwing it in the, in the waste bin. Um, it has not been confirmed yet by uh, Turkish officials. Um, you just have anonymous sources at this point. But it's a great story, maybe even too good to check out. Uh, but it has not been 100% confirmed. But, you know, regardless of that, um, this letter might have shown such a, a, a disregard for Turkey's security needs that uh, I'm sure that that was the, the trigger that, that caused Turkey to launch this uh, 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 intervention at 4 p.m. on the same day that the letter arrived. Exactly. Borzu, now, the letter to President Erdogan uh, wasn't the only highlight of, of Wednesday. Not only did he apparently hand out a physical copy of the Erdogan letter to congressmen, uh, but Nancy Pelosi led a walkout uh, from the White House, and then there was a sort of a he said, she said, uh, take a listen, I want to get your reaction about it is I, I pray for the president all the time and I tell him that I pray for his safety and that of his family. I think now we have to pray for his health because this was a very serious meltdown on the part of the president. Uh, I... How concerning is this? I mean, I think this is just uh, them dissing each other. And then Trump uh, said a similar thing afterwards, saying that I'm concerned and I pray for Nancy Pelosi. This is just the uh, 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 politics in the U.S. and, you know, the, the nasty politics in the U.S. And I think that also, you know, with regard to this issue of Syria, um, and there's one important thing that we should keep in mind. For Trump, everything is a domestic political issue. He doesn't really know about the, you know, the YPG, the PKK, all this acronym soup. It doesn't mean anything to him. What he's most concerned about is uh, November 2020, getting reelected, 
uh, keeping the wolves at bay, the people who want him indicted and impeached. Uh, he is a you know cornered animal, basically. Uh, and he's struggling to hold together a very unique conservative coalition. Uh, one side of that conservative coalition wants out of the Middle East and its various wars, and he's sort of pushing for that on the one hand. And then another side of that conservative coalition wants to confront Iran, wants to you know maintain uh, America's premier role in the world and so on. And so then he applies sanctions to Turkey to appease that faction. And mm -hmm. it's all about Wisconsin and Minnesota and Ohio. I, I think that's a very good point you made. But one thing to, to add, I'm, I'm afraid we're out of time, but he may not know the difference between the PKK and the YPG, but he, he has called some of the Kurds some very, very bad people. Or right, Borzu, great to see you. Great to have you on the news hour. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.